<laughs> you sure do love that coffee. I would think you're married to a Keurig or something. <laughs> makes it for me every day. Speaking of, how is your wife? She's fine. Same as always. Oh, thank you. Uh, Tracy, this is Joe. Joe, this is Tracy, our new secretary. Uh, I'll leave you two to meet each other. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm sorry I have to cut this short, but I have to make an appointment. Well, hey, I was just about to head out. Anyway, do you want me to come with you? Uh, yeah, sure. Is something wrong? No, I just... I usually take the main street home. Oh, well, are you in a hurry? <sighs> Not really, but my wife's probably expecting me back home. Well, we both left a bit early and this route's not much longer and it's a lot more scenic. I guess it's not... I guess it's not too far out of the way. I never really come to this part of the city. Well, really, I come here all the time. Well, I should really be going. What were you saying? Nothing. It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Sorry to cut this short, but I really have to go home. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I can be so clueless sometimes. Don't worry about it. I'll walk you to your appointment on the way. Thanks for showing me this place. It's, it's a lot prettier than the rest of the city. No problem. You should take your wife here sometime. Yeah. Maybe I will. I didn't see you there. Um, anyway, I, I'm only a minute later than usual, really. There's no need to worry. <laughs> I was panicking. I was so worried, it ruined my day. I'm sorry, I, I, had, to, I had to take care of something at work. Oh, really? Or did you have to take care of that woman you were walking with? Were you spying on me again? Obviously I need to, since you're cheating on me! I wasn't cheating on you. 
You always jump to conclusions. You are useless and cowardly and worse of all.